YouTube fan Zookeeper here again today. So I've been working on this Q211 uh, Toyota MGU, uh, I'm sorry, MGR, and it is for a hybrid Highlander or RAV4, and it is the rear drive unit. So I today I took and cleaned it up. You know, it's not super clean, but um, at least I can see tags and things like that on it now. So I wanted to point out a few things. So one of the things is the front side is where these two um, bolts fit for the um, front bracket. And so if this is the front, then if we look at this side right here as I turn it, this would be the driver's side if this is the front. So this would be the left side. And on the left side, we have an oil check plug. And we also have, if you can see this, the oil drain plug is, they're both on this left side here. And here's one of the drive shafts. So as I turn this around some more, this would be the rear where the two closer bolts fit. And that's where these drive axles are, is on the back side of this uh, MGR. So one of the questions is always, well, which way does it run? This is designed to run so that this part of the unit is at the back of the car, so both of these turn in the forward direction normally. And the reason for that is, if you look at the Weber video, it explains how this doesn't actually have a pump inside of it, and it relies on splash lubrication because it's not a high-powered unit. So if I continue turning it, this would be the right side, and this is where the electrical connections are. Also, there is an optional fill plug up here on top. Um, you can use that. It's right next to the vent. And uh, so one of the things I'm considering if the case temperature gets too high in my conversion is I will just take fluid out the bottom and route it in the top uh, with a small hydraulic pump and circulate it through some kind of a radiator. Um, right now I don't think that will be necessary because I have a light vehicle. So moving on, um, this plug you do not ever want to remove. You won't do any damage, but don't remove it. There's no need. You should not put any oil in here. And these three bolts hold the resolver in place, which is what this connects to. And you don't want to loosen these three small bolts on the right side. So we've made it all the way back around now, back to the front. And um, that is our Toyota Q211 motor generator.